Edna Everidge, housewife, superstar, Melvin, mother, megastar and millionaires. A lot of people think she's quite attractive. I just can't see it, that's all. <laughs> My bridesmaid is like a coiled spring. <laughs> she is seething with lust. <laughs> Honoured that Dame Edna Everidge has deigned to be in our studio. It's so lovely to see you. Good morning, listeners. <laughs> I say listeners because, Lorraine, a lot of people just listen to the television. That's true. They're Thank doing you. other things. They might be doing other things in other rooms, but it's... I'm so proud of you, Lorraine. Thank you. Your lovely mother, Anne, is always on the phone to me. Yes. And she said... <laughs> Please be kind to my little Lorraine. Oh, I hope you will. I I'm sure will. you will. How's Steve? Steve's great. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, he's still really good. Oh, still lovely. really, really good. And you had a lovely holiday in Spain, didn't you? You know things. And <laughs> Texas. Tell me about Texas. How do you know all these things? I went to a wedding in Texas. I it was followed beautiful. this woman. <laughs> I do. There's something I know your viewers probably wonder why, but... There's something about you that appeals to me. Oh, really? Yes. I'm, I'm delighted <laughs> and, and honoured and honoured. Now, Please, it's very rude to be reading a book while you're talking to me. <laughs> but it's your book. <laughs> it's your book. It's about a history of Australia in 101 objects. A his I'm an Australian, Lorraine. What? Thank I never realised. And I'm wearing an Australian frock. You are. It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? It's stunning. These feathers belong to a very rare Australian bird. Oh. Actually, it's now extinct. <laughs> I'm not Because surprised. it donated all its feathers to me. <laughs> Do you know what in here, though? I thought koala bears were cute. And, and they're koala not... Koala bears are very dangerous. They can be savage. <gasps> if you get too near them, they attack you. <gasps> they really are a, a pest. Right. I thought they were cuddly. Not at all cuddly. They're cute. I know a photographer, a cameraman, whose nipple was bitten off by a koala. No, that's terrible. It mistook it for an, a gum nut. Ah, easy mistake to make, though. Easy <laughs> oh, mistake to make. Steve tells me that you've never made that mistake. I haven't yet. There's still time, though. <laughs> <laughs> there is Steve still time. Is Lorraine's adorable husband and Anne. Uh, Lorraine's mother is very, very fond of him. But your girl has done well, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's doing really well. So well. <laughs> she's doing great. She's <laughs> just graduated and we're very, very proud we are. Now, look, I saw you recently in Absolutely Fabulous. The most absolutely fabulous person oh, in the whole was film. Movie. Wasn't it lovely? They... I came into it at the last minute because they were very worried that it... It seemed to be going nowhere. It didn't no. have a climax, this no. film. Mm. Didn't really. So they contacted me and I waived my fee. Did you? That As I have generous. waived it for being on your programme. <gasps> Thank you, dear Medna. That's And I don't often so do, do, that, do that. And you are a wonderful woman and also a pioneer because you, you pioneered, all, you know, the chat shows. Because I always created the talk show. You, well, you did and you'd have invented Because so my view things. is this. Mm hmm the thing about a talk show is that it's a monologue interrupted by strangers. Exactly. Exactly. For example, and I adore Lorraine, <laughs> but frankly, viewers, do we need her on this programme? No. No. Not really. You're I right. could just be talking to you. <laughs> you could. Oh. You absolutely could. You do look fantastic. How do you keep looking so splendid and gorgeous? Because I'm a happy woman and I've got a lovely job. I retired a few years ago. That is to say, I announced my retirement and I gave farewell shows. Yes. But I was talking to Frank Sinatra the other night. I'm psychic, you see, and I'm in touch with Frank. Yes. And he said, keep going, Edna, like me. Do it your way. Ah. And I have. I'm not at all retired. Look at me. I'm at the, my gynaecologist. I had an exploratory this morning. Did you? 
just before I came here. Do you notice I was a few minutes late? Yes, we were worried. And he said, you are at the height of your powers. Mm -hmm. Keep going. So what I do is the occasional show, mm -hmm. selected. Up to, clearly. Selected, my <laughs> darling little Lorraine. <laughs> and I have this great privilege that I was born with. It's the ability to laugh at the misfortunes of others. Yep. <laughs> and that's, that's kept me happy all my life. I love it. <laughs> On that bombshell, thank you. Thank you so, so much. It's great thank to you, see Lorraine, you. You're an angel. Lovely. Good luck to <laughs> you, you and Steve and your lovely daughter <laughs> and Anne in and particular. Anne. Hello, Anne. <laughs> It went well, didn't it? It did. It went, went, went well. It went, went well. well. <laughs> Thank you.